Hello everyone, and welcome to more mysterious videos with me, myself, and I. And today we are shooting, as you can tell, a special edition with a special guest. One of our Hello. sisters that you have not gotten to meet at this point. Everyone say hi to me. Hi. Hi me. <laughs> and um, we are in a bit of a different location today, so... Um, do you want to give background of where we are, what we're doing, we what are. we're feeling inspired by? Feeling inspired by Deception Island, so we're going to make some of the blueberry muffins that you can get at the local cafe. And why are we feeling so inspired by Deception Island in particular? Because we are on, we're on Galapagos Island and we're going to cook an internal shell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well the muffins going to turn out that way. <laughs> <laughs> I would be a big muffin, but it would be good. I wish we, we are on Galapagos, we're not Galapagos, island. Galapagos but we are <laughs> on an island in the ocean right now. And there is a lighthouse. We have been doing a lot of biking, um, a murder amount of biking, by the way. Mm. Um, getting eaten alive by hordes of mosquitoes. Kayaking. All, all the fun stuff. And definitely also things that made us think of Deception Island. So when we were planning this trip, we were like, let's shoot a video while we were there. Y'all can sh thank me for that. She was that neat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was my idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, thank me. But yeah, let's get started. Blueberry muffins, and they're gonna be delicious. And we're gonna eat these down at the beach later. Well, yeah. we'll have a taster now, but we'll finish them at the beach later. All right. So All we're right. gonna do a few different things with these. We want lemon blueberry muffins because lemon blueberry always better. We're also gonna add a cream cheese swirl in these. So let's get the cream cheese started first. That's gonna be super easy. If our overhead angle is wobbly, we're using a different tripod than usual today. We were a little bit more limited on our set. All right, so for our cream cheese swirl, first we're gonna take just one block of cream cheese, so regular eight ounces. We're gonna put that in a bowl and we're gonna put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so just to soften it up enough that we can stir it around. We're just gonna test this with a fork, see if it's softened up or if we need to put it back in for another minute. It's still a little bit cool in the center, so we'll just put it back in for like 10 more seconds, but it's almost where we need it to be. And while you're melting your cream cheese, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Yes. That's just about right. So we have our cream cheese softened a little bit, so we want to do a little bit more to it. We're gonna add some vanilla and some sugar to this. So we've got some sugar here, we're gonna add a third cup of sugar. And the sugar. Just get it more like a frosting flavor. You don't have vanilla. I have a teaspoon, so I don't know why I said it like that. Did you have a teaspoon? This is a teaspoon, so we're just gonna do half of it. What island we're on if we haven't already said and I forgot to crop it out said. or forgot to edit it out. Well, we'll edit out sharing telling them where it is. <laughs> we're on an island with a lighthouse. Whoa! In the ocean. What island is that? Don't all islands have Barely <laughs> Not all light. Not all islands. So we're gonna set this aside while we start our muffin batter. We've got a bowl for our muffin batter and what are we gonna do with this? Okay, so first we're gonna add one and three quarters cups of flour. Aren't okay. you proud of me? I said three quarters. I am so proud of you. Take one tablespoon of the flour and toss the blueberries. We are doing one and a half cups of blueberries. One and a half cups of blueberries. And you can use either fresh or frozen blueberries. We are using frozen wild blueberries for this, but whichever you have, you we can use do either. recommend using wild blueberries because they have a better flavor. We tried it, yeah. We tried it with other blueberries and it just was quite plain. Unless they're in season, yeah, fresh blueberries might be hit or miss on ripeness. And that's just gonna help keep the blueberries from sinking Jelly. down at the bottom of the muffins so much. Jelly. We're gonna set those Jeez, aside I just and need. get back to our batter. Okay. All right, then we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. Oh, the blueberry for Tilly. She doesn't want it. She's like, I love that. 
I didn't bring the full set of measuring cups. Hey, Teddy. We were trying to cut down on our packing. This is a quarter cup, so we're gonna put two quarter cups, which will make a half. Do some little math here. I know what no. you love math. <laughs> Alright, there's half a cup of sugar. Today, her name is Kelly. She is grass dangling from her back paw. She is um, licking blueberries. Yummy. Delicious. Oh, she ate it. Whoa, is that yummy? She's a little scared. And we're also going to add um, two teaspoons of baking powder. She is aggressively sniffing. I can feel her Maybe body can move. <laughs> You do not want baking powder, my sweet. All right, go and we're also going to add um, half a teaspoon ish of salt. B. Then we're going to mix our dry ingredients B. together. B. Aggressive. B. That's B. Our uh, motto. Our island motto. It's our life motto. <laughs> Now we want to get our liquids for our muffin mix together. We have a stick of butter here. We're going to use the whole stick, but for the batter itself, we're only going to use half the stick, four tablespoons. So we're going to cut that in half and melt it down. And then we're going to zest the lemon. We're going to save about a half teaspoon of the zest for our finishing but we're gonna put the rest of the zest in the muffin mixture. And you do want a pretty large lemon, so because we're not doing exact amounts, I mean, you could measure it out. We're just eyeballing it, but we know we want a decent amount of lemon flavor in there. Whoopsie! <laughs> This is a pretty good size one, so let's say half. If you're using a small lemon, you're probably gonna want a little more than half. Except that makes the floor squeak. <laughs> also a little stressful so we have an egg in here very carefully nestled up Aww. in some paper towels a little nest like a baby you just need crunch <laughs> four tablespoons of butter lemon juice we have the juice of half of a large lemon again if you're using a smaller one put a little bit more three fourth cups of milk and a fourth cup of sour cream Remaining one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, the egg! Oh, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> we might want our egg in there. So just one egg. While she's doing that, I'm going to put some cupcake liners inside our muffin pan. This will make about a dozen muffins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool performance. Got a muffin pan. I'm just gonna be over here doing this. I'm not done yet. <laughs> For the record, if you see random bruises on us, it's not bruises, it's blueberry juice. Well, you do have a few bruises too. Okay. And if you see us covered in red welts, it's mosquito bites, not the chicken pox. Not the chicken pox. <laughs> Very aggressive and personal.
we're going to just gently stir our blueberries in. Now we're going to go ahead and put our batter into the pan. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to evenly distribute the butter. We're just gonna scoot that to the side a little bit and then for the cream cheese mixture, we're gonna pipe that into the center of our muffins. You can use, I mean, if you want to, you can just spoon a little dollop in the center of each one, but we want to kind of have a swirl of it in there. So we've got a piping bag. You can use just a Ziploc bag if you want. I had these left over from another project, so we're gonna use one of these. We're just gonna spoon that mixture in here. So we're gonna put our muffin mix back over here and then we're just gonna, again, sort of evenly distribute this. We're gonna just poke the center down in there a little bit so it goes down under the surface somewhat. Under oh, the surface. Wah, 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 wah. Are your bones? Your bones are under the surface. That's where you like to keep them, you know. And then we've got one more step before we put these in the oven. We wanted to add a streusel layer. <laughs> Melt the remaining half a stick of butter in the no microwave. Water. We need about a half cup of flour in here. We got our other measuring cups dirty, so we're just gonna eyeball. This is a third cup. We know we want a little bit over a third cup. One third of a cup of sugar, and then we're also adding some brown sugar. Right Three now. tablespoons of brown sugar. A little bit of lemon zest that we saved. And the remaining four tablespoons of melted butter. Do you know the muffin pan? It lives on an island in the sea. But what island? <laughs> you may never know. Unless you figure it out. are assembled, they're gonna go in the oven for 27 minutes 27 until weeks. they're cooked through and golden on the top. And we're gonna tidy up a little bit. We'll be back in 27 minutes. 27, let the countdown begin. On the dock, on the tickety top. All right. righty, the muffins have come out of the oven. The oven, the, the muffins have come out of the oven. And now the we will, muffins now have, we will snap them. <laughs> The muffins are coming out of the oven and they've been cooling the down for about five, ten minutes. So Just enough that we won't burn our mouth skin completely off. off. A little taste test. Whew, very hot. Yeah, they're definitely still very hot. Mmm, those are really good. They're warm enough right now, it's hard to just unpeel and eat like a regular muffin. Wow. I do recommend letting these cool a little bit first, but y'all know we never do that in our videos. Mm -hmm. If you hear a weird noise in the background, that's um, our other sister sweeping back there like Oliver Twist. <laughs> well, we hey. told her the muffins. So she told her we told her she couldn't have a muffin unless she cleaned the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> There's sand everywhere. Someone had to get it up. So we had these yesterday after biking 14 miles. 16. Thank you. Okay, you said it was 70. Right? That's 14. That was 16 miles. It was, I don't know. It was, I was uh, going to what y'all told me. 
It was 16 miles because it ended up basically being the length of the island. Another clue. Another clue. An island 16 miles long. Whatever could that be? Approximately. We're not 100% sure how long the island is. I googled it. A muffin rose. Oh. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so what are our thoughts on the island? Delicious. Really good, and I'll be honest, I'm not like a huge muffin person. But I feel like because this is like well, three layers. Again? I just washed this. <laughs> Sharon. <sighs> Honestly, I can't even eat in a house. So we have one pleasantly surprised verdict here. And if, this is the first of our Nancy Drew recipes that you've tried so far, right? Yeah. Because you've like seen some of the other stuff that we've done in passing, but you haven't actually tried the recipes. No. With it being off in the middle of nowhere. Alright, we need a final verdict in line. Is there anything we would tweak about them? Um, well, eating them when they're cool? Yeah, that too. Yes. <laughs> Which we can do with the remaining ones. I'm not good with baking, but are there tricks to keep like the cream cheese layer kind of did sink a little bit? Yeah, I know there's tricks. Well, I, that, I right? wanted the cream cheese more mixed in. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want it to sink into it as much, just use a spoon and just carefully dollop it on the very top okay. and don't i was pushing the piping bag down into the surface of the batter some because i wanted it kind of mixed into them so you get more cream cheese in the different bites but if you do want more i like like that but like i know some people would say since the bottom yeah just don't like that and it wasn't yeah you can just carefully put a spoon on top of the batter before you bake it and just underneath your streusel of course yeah i think with like as a side to the clam chowder recipe we pre previously filmed for dessert. on a cold rainy day with a cup of yeah, tea. Yeah, we actually thought it was going to be well. rainy out this morning, so we were going to be curled up in here having blueberry muffins and hot tea while it rained out and then go to the lighthouse later. Which we're still going to go to the lighthouse later. Yeah. But the rain is actually us, our so. next stop. Maybe we'll see a crotchety lighthouse keeper there. Someone got murdered in there yesterday, so we have to go to <laughs> They didn't. That's not one of the clues. <laughs> Not one of those clues, but I'm had a We can pretend it's a murder here. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't go that first though. Murder and <laughs> someone just suspicion. Tripped on one of the steps and is now suing the lighthouse keeper, so we have to That just sounds unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Yes. They got a concussion like Nancy Drew does every no. day. There was a mysterious flashing light pattern last there night that was different from the usual. More granted, we did genuinely enjoy when we were out kayaking last night in the harbor. Um the lighthouse lit up just shortly before we finished and I was just it was it in front of you. I was racing Elizabeth back to the docks. Uh, <laughs> well, while the two other two were off racing back to the docks to see who could get there first, the two of us were sitting there in our kayaks watching the lighthouse. We were trying to, we wanted to get some picture or video, but it didn't really work out. It was very, very relaxing. Highly recommend. Just, um, maybe don't go far, too far out into the waves if you're- It got a little good. choppy. <laughs> yeah. And then the crabs were trying to keep us off of the dock when we came back. Yeah. They were like, there are these tiny little dog. crabs. I thought one of them was a giant spider at first. I did too. Because it also was like walking more like a spider. Yeah. I like stuck my finger on one when like, I was climbing up and then I was like, <laughs> like that size. <laughs> Alright, well we have a lighthouse to visit. We have shenanigans to go shenan. Some clams Shenan? to buy. Clams? Clam. Clams. 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 Buy some clams. We're going to have a bonfire tonight. <laughs> and cook some clams. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Mystery time. There's a mystery. <laughs>